Paul, uh, how do you reflect on that thrilling game? A thrilling game, I think it's a thrilling game if you're a Peterborough fan. I think if you're a Wigan fan, it's not a thrilling game. Uh, great credit to Peterborough for winning the game. Um, reflecting on the game, for me as a manager, I thought the game should have been over at half-time as a contest. You can't create as many chances as we did in the first half and not have the game put to bed. When you do that, you're always liable and suspect. Peterborough threw caution to the wind a little bit by changing formation at half-time and getting the three lads uh, in more forward positions caused us problems and scored goals so you know from Peterborough, Peterborough's point of view it's a fantastic win it's a great three points from our point of view not a good second half for us at all I felt we just found the game was too easy and that we'd walk onto the game and win unfortunately football isn't like that again we have to dust ourselves down quick the game's come thick and fast and move on must frustrate you the second half of the defending though because we've been the best defending in, in, in the football league until now yeah you, you have to and you know goals disappoint people and goals make people better and for Peterborough to score the goal right after half time you know we started in my opinion poorly you know they got the joy of the goal they went on and won the game you've got to give Peterborough credit you know it's easy for me to be critical of my players and different stuff referees etc you know one that with the best will in the world to the referees they haven't given a lot of decisions in our favour that's football you know we don't have problems with that we've got to be better we should have been more in control of the game we should have seen the game out better and then from getting a point that would have been okay He'd have moved on. We then ridiculously deep for some reason. We don't play like that. We get up the pitch, and that sometimes happens in football. So, for as disappointed as I am, we get home, we move on. We play Plymouth at home on Tuesday. A chance to bounce back. Always been your message, though. It's only nine games in. This. We have to learn from it. Yeah, listen. We got 19 points after nine games. I think everyone will be happy with that. You know, you've got to move on quickly. Every game, you know, with the best will in the world to Peterborough, they've done a lap of honour or a lap to all their supports after the game. I've never seen that before in the league game when a team's won. And that's what, what it's like to be Wigan. And good luck to Peterborough. They're a good side, they've got good players, they've got no problem with that. But they've only won a, a league game. You know, and it's a long season for everyone. You know, that's the nature of the game we're in, with a big scalp. Everybody wants to beat us, everybody celebrates beating us. And it's something that our lads have got to learn to manage. David Perkins comes back in. Difficult for him to oh, 90 Perkins, minutes. Perkins done smashing. Do you know, first half, we control the game, we've created numerous chances. The game should be out of sight as teams will do a little bit caution to the wind as I say good luck to Peterborough they're a good side they're a very strong team you know they've got really good players you know and, and we wish them well we've got to manage situations like that better and that's the disappointing thing for us today safe journey thanks a lot sir.